the final round of the CJ Invitational, hosted by KJ Choi, coming from the Hazley Nine Bridges Golf Club. Conditions absolutely perfect for the final 18 holes, which saw Kang Sung Hoon going in with a two-shot lead. The defending champion, KJ Choi, well, he started really well. This approach shot to the sixth set up a fourth bird in his first six holes, but unfortunately for KJ Choi, he finished with a round of 73 that left him just outside the top 20 at level par. At one stage this week, Kiridek Apibara led by five. He started well as well, like KJ Choi, but he couldn't keep it going. A 73, six under par that consolidates his position as number one on the Asian Tour Order of Merit. Kim Tae-hoon has been in terrific form this season posting his seventh top 10 in his last nine <laughs> Korean tour events. How about that for a par save at 16? Seven under par, leaving him in a tie for second. That was at the 15th, rather, the par three. This was Jotty Randawa at 16. Best finish of the year for the former Asian tour number one, the Indian, with a closing round of 67, like Kim Tae-hoon at seven under par. But after starting the final round with a two-shot lead Kang Sung Hung went from strength to strength he'd already birdied the third when he did that at the fourth it really was an exhibition of front running from the 26 year old from Jeju he won once before on the Korean tour spent his last three seasons out in America on the PGA and web.com tours brilliant tee shot at five knocked that in for birdie another followed at six four in a row and even though he dropped a couple of shots at 8 and 16, he cruised in. This for a round of 70 that left him at 12 under par and a massive five-shot victory for Kang Sung Hoon. So he follows in the footsteps of the man himself, KJ Choi, in winning this CJ Invitational. A wonderful moment for Kang Sung Hoon. He really made it look so easy, he had his hands on the silverware, the CJ Invitational Champion. <laughs>